So, now I'm telling you guys what I'm doing for the rebuild process on this. And let me set the camera down. <coughs> if you might notice, I sound a little weird. I have a bit of a cold, which is rather unpleasant. But, <coughs> I'm just going to keep working. I am decided I'm going to fix the cases on this. And this one I already have ground it down. And I'm going to weld it because I have a aluminum a welder that can do aluminum and I'm going to weld that back on there put this one aside I'm not sure how well I showed you guys the damage to the case but this one with the top case haven't done much work on and you can see a large hole there and that hole is not supposed to be there so I'm still in the process of cleaning this up with a grinder and whatnot. And then I'm gonna, I have some aluminum, sheet aluminum, I'm gonna weld on there. But, all right, everybody, what's going on? All right, that's a stupid intro. Okay, welding the engine cases or the engine block for the GP1300R. Uh, as many of you may know, I uh, got a hole punched in the block from the engine exploding and lots of, uh, Less than preferable things happened. So, <clears throat> I'm going to be. I've already welded the other half, and. Which I shouldn't say that because that. I did it on a different day, but I recorded it so I can show you. Um, I got to do this. This is going to be the more tricky piece, but I've got some aluminum, just flat aluminum stock, and I got to cut out a piece to go there. And I've got the uh, spool gun. And I'm not a professional welder by any means. I just uh, am able to do this. And my welds probably won't be that pretty, but in the end, nobody will see them because this is buried deep inside of the personal watercraft or jet ski or whatever you want to call these things, but buried deep inside the wave runner. So I'm going to go on this. I realize it's a bit dark in here. Let's see, does that change anything? No. But uh, I'm just getting this piece fit to that hole in the block. And I was going to see if I can maybe cut some up with the jigsaw. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But uh, I guess I'm going to find out. I have it marked out on this side. You guys can't see that. But. Uh... <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go with that doesn't. I mean, that's not working for me, so <laughs> go back to the uh thing. Here's my piece I've cut out and I've got the overall shape pretty dang close. So now I'm just gonna shape it with some different tools to get it just exactly where I need it to be.
All right, I've got it all welded up here. I've got to clean it up with the tools. You know, I can't leave it hanging out looking like that. It needs to look more something like this. There you go. I gotta do a little touch-up welding on the other half. I'm not gonna show you guys that. I'm adding music to the video so that you don't have to do it later. <laughs> be as hard as like a four stroke I'll tell you what we'll check back in when it's in there better this is gonna be boring anyway Got that set in with the tractor, and now we got low battery, low light, so I'll get back with you guys tomorrow, but I'm gonna do a bit more work on it this evening. here rather than when I'm way out in the ocean yeah. and Jacob is really happy
Thank you.